Hey everybody, it's Jessica again, and I'm back with my project video. Hopefully I can get this done. Kenzie's in her little, uh, her, um, yeah, jumperoo thing, so hopefully she'll cooperate. But I have seven cards. Seven. Can't believe that I did all these, really. But the first one is a teacher card, and do, 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 do. The teacher's pet is from a Unity stamp set, Smarty Pants. That is the CC Designs teacher stamp. And then just some Baker's twine. And the paper that I used is um, Jelly Bean Soup. And it's just on regular craft um, card base. Sorry, had one of those moments. And I used a Rolodex um, punch, Sizzix die rather that I had bought off of someone on the scrapyard. So I thought it was super cute. So I'll use that for a card, probably for Kylie's teacher or something. And then the second thing, uh, card I have is this one. It says, thank you for your friendship. And it's with um, the Apple Emma or Emma Apple, something, I don't know, something like that. It's from CC Design. So I thought that was super cute. And this background up here, I used a cuddle bug embossing folder, and then I used um, the tea stain distress ink and just rubbed it over the raised edges. And then the flowers are just from I Am Roses. I used my Spectrum Noirs to color her in. This paper is also from the Jelly Bean Soup collection, and the Thank You for Your Friendship was just from a Hero Arts um, stamp set. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the inside, I just carried some of the paper over, and it's on a craft uh, card base again. That was during my craft, like, obsession week or whatnot. Now, this card is one of my favorite cards that I think I've ever made. I tried making an easel card, and I never made one before, and I absolutely love this. I used the Greeting Farm stamp Chelsea, and I colored her with my Spectrum Noirs. The dog is from the Lawn Fawn, oops, Lawn Fawn Critters and the Birds, and then I just used Baker's Twine to make the little banner, and then I just cut strips of paper from the pattern paper that I had used, and that was, I believe it was Echo Park's um, Summer Day, or Hello Summer, Hello Summer I think it was, so... I love this card though. It's super cute. Very, um, it, the card wasn't as, um, like difficult as I thought it was going to be. I'm always afraid to like try new like card techniques and whatnot. So then I did this one with Paper Smooch's Chili Chum and it says you're burrific. And on oops, the Berific part, I used the Close to My Heart's liquid glass. And um, unfortunately, when it was drying, it cracked a little bit. But it's not that bad. Kylie says it makes it look like an iceberg. So I used stickles on the white cardstock to make it look like um, snowy hills. And it's just added on, like, just a few dimensional um the foam squares. Sorry, I'm really having issues. And the Christmas trees I just paper pieced. Then there's this card, which I used Kiki LaRue's um, Latte Kiki from CC Designs. And this rose is from one of my Trico goodie bags from Steph. And then it says warm wishes on the bottom. That's from Paper Smooch's uh, Warm Concoctions. And the paper is also from a Jelly Bean Soup collection. And then there's just some black bling added. And I colored the Latte Kiki in with my Spectrum Noirs. And I just carried the paper over on the inside. I thought this card was super cute. I love that stamp too. It's really, really cute. And then 
I recently placed like a fairly large order through Paper Smooches and Kim Hughes actually included in um, my order a thank you stamp set for me and it was the the Forest Whimsy one with the gnome so decided that I would make a card and I kept debating getting this stamp set too because <clears throat> I've become like obsessed with gnomes lately ever since uh, what do you call it? Lawn Fawn's Gnome Sweet Gnome and the Echo Park Gnome Sweet Gnome collection came out I just had to have them I don't know and then I also bought like the Jerome uh, Paper Smooch stamp and the Recollections Gnome Sweet Gnome stamp set and it's just pretty funny. So I made this um, card. It's five and a half by five and a half. The clouds are from the Paper Smooches set and I just used some of my light blue Copic, um, not Copics, Spectrum Noirs to add a little bit more dimension to them. This hexagon uh, border across the bottom is from the Paper Smooches uh, what was it? Geographic collection uh, stamp set. And I just used different colored green Spectrum Nars to color in and give it like a grass look, but not, you know, too boring, I guess you could say. And then I used a lot of uh, foam pop dots, like the little hedgehog porcupine things up on some. The tree stump is also up on some. And then I cut out this banner and it says whimsical wishes that sentiment came with the stamp set so, and then the inside is just blank but I liked that I thought that card came out cute and then the last card that I made I made the other night I sat down with Kylie we were in here for like an hour and a half trying to make a Halloween card Kylie made a really cute Halloween card which is in the other room or else I would show it to you using some of the Michael's dollar stamps like the Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, and Dracula, and the Little Witch. And it came out really, really cute. But I had no, like, mojo to make a Halloween card. I wanted to, but it just wasn't working. So, and I was, like, messaging Steph in between that because I had, like, um, the pumpkin Emma cut out that I wanted to do a card with. I had, um, the wild sprouts, um, oh my goodness, one of the other stamps cut out and colored in already. Like, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was just, like, on, like, idea overload. So... When I had gotten the um, elephant stamp from Stephanie, I had also ordered this Sowing the Seeds um, stamp set from Gorgeous Girls. So I was like, you know what, let me just make a card with her. So here is my card. And I colored her in using my Spectrum Noirs, which I absolutely, sorry, I'm a little shaky, I'm holding Kenzie now, love the way that she came out. This like she came out beautiful and I used some black uh, recollections bling on it the roses are from I am roses and the blue I actually colored in with my spectrum noirs to match and color coordinate sorry and then the sentiment says, sentiment says, in life's adventures, may happiness be your destination. And that's from Amy R's um, mixed messages. And then I just carry the paper over on the inside. It's not really, you know, anything special on the inside, but I like it. I really, really love how this card came out. So those are my seven cards, and I will talk to you guys shortly. Thanks for watching.